Dynamite, and today what I have for you guys is a tutorial on how to do the classified Easter egg with an AFK glitch in 2020. I've seen a lot of people lately asking me how they can get the round 150 cutscene without actually having to play the game. And unfortunately, a lot of really useful glitches have been patched at this moment in time, but there is still one that exists. Thanks to Serial Glitchers who actually found it and posted it first over on his channel. I have a link to his channel down below in the description. Now the class setup you want includes the following perks. We have Time Slip, Winner's Whale, Stone Cold Stronghold, and Mule Kick as your modifier. Also make sure you have a Frag Grenade on this class with the Ragnaroks of course. Now these are Elixirs and Talismans which could help you get this done a lot faster but they aren't required. Now obviously Arsenal Accelerator is free so definitely keep that on but if you have Power Keg and Refreshment also put that on your class because that'll really help out with some of the later steps of this glitch. An extra credit is there in case you want to give yourself some extra points to open up the map a lot faster and here are some talismans which again you don't need but can really help out with this one of them is a common one which increases the earn rate of your special weapon experience but the ones that will really help out and help you get this done in a matter of minutes are the ones where you can actually spawn in with a level 2 or level 3 specialist weapon again if you don't have that not a big deal but if you do you definitely want to put that on so once you're in game your real focus here is opening up just about the entire map you don't have to go to pack-a-punch so don't even worry about those parts but definitely build a shield if you know how to do that if you don't i'll have a guide to that down below in the description but again it's 2020 you probably know how to build a shield by now but your main goal here is to get as many points as possible and you want to buy your mule kick perk before any other perk so you buy your mule kick perk and you can then buy the other three perks in any order that you want just make sure you buy your modifier first while you're earning up points to get your perks you also want to make sure that you're working towards a level three specialist weapon once again if you have a talisman where you spawn in with one don't even worry about that and I'll have a time step down below so you can skip to a step once you have a level 3 specialist but while you're also doing that make sure you're buying all your perks get some decent weapons from the box and once again I would wait till around 4 or higher before you start taking out your Ragnaroks to get kills because that's when you start seeing a fair amount of zombies I usually wait until around 4 or 5 that's when you get a fair amount to where you can rank up your specialist a lot faster now also make sure you do get a mule kick weapon and thanks to a really cool feature in Black Ops 4 you'll know exactly what your mule kick weapon is thanks to the icon that pops up on your HUD. So once you have a mule kick weapon and once you have a level 3 specialist, what you want to do is go up to the mystery box and I recommend having a shield on your back so you don't get downed by a zombie while doing this. You want to take out your specialist as you grab a weapon from the box which replaces your mule kick weapon. So the way I get this done is by clicking the buttons on my controller to take out my specialist and immediately after that holding square to grab the weapon from the box. Don't do it the other way around around where you hold square to grab the weapon from the box then take out your specialist the way it usually works is taking out your specialist and as you're doing that holding square to pick up a weapon from the mystery box if you've done this correctly the mule kick icon will actually disappear from your HUD but you'll still have a third weapon in your class so it's cool that there is an indicator that you got this done right but again it could be a little tricky try it as many times as you need to again if you accidentally take out your specialist but you don't pick up a weapon from the box you have to wait for a power keg or earn your specialist back or whatever it is you want to do pop an elixir if you're somebody that has like hundreds of elixirs then it's okay to make mistakes during this glitch right but if you don't have many elixirs you're unfortunately gonna to have to wait until you rank your specialist back up again to take it back out what you want to do is make your way downstairs to the lab where the tonic perk is you want to place your level 3 specialist down on the ground take a couple of steps back hold a frag out to kill yourself then once you get back up you'll notice that you've lost your tonic perk which is meal kick you'll also see that the special specialist meter is no longer on your HUD it is glitched out what you want to do is quickly buy the mule kick perk which is obviously right behind you where you went down and once you buy the mule kick perk the specialist meter will come back on your HUD but you'll notice that when you get kills you actually can get your specialist back since the meter just won't fill up so what you also want to do is buy any of the remaining perks that you may have lost I know I lost my cola and tonic maybe different for you depending on the order in which you bought the other three perks once you have all your perks
perks now, what you want to do is wait for a full power to drop. Once again, if you have elixirs like Power Keg or Refreshment, you don't have to wait for the RNG to get those elixirs. Now, if you're limited on the amount of elixirs you really have and you're nervous about doing this glitch, what I would recommend is going on to Custom Mutations, disabling all of the power-ups except for full power so you can practice this next step. This next step is something that you would do in some of the original AFK classified glitches, which we're also going to be doing in today's. So what you want to do when you have a full power is take out your specialist and as you're taking it out, cancel it, then take it back out again. If you do that correctly, the Ragnaroks will be stuck in your hands and you won't ever lose them unless you were to pick up another full power again. But when you hop into this AFK glitch spot, none of the power-ups that spawn in will be grabbed by you. So you'll never have to worry about a full power again. But this is the part that gets tricky though, right? If you don't have a power keg or a refreshment and you accidentally mess this up when a full power drops, you have to wait for another one to spawn in. Arsenal Accelerator will not work for this part. But once you successfully glitched out your Ragnaroks, right, and they're stuck in your hands, the meter's not going down, what you want to do now is jump into an AFK spot. There are a couple of them that are still left here on the map, and they happen to all be down here in the lab. There's actually three identical looking windows that you can jump on top of, and once you jump on top of them, the zombies just can't kill you. The zombies will hit you a little bit, but because you have Stronghold, you'll have armor. So they'll knock out your armor, and if for some reason all your armor breaks, you have Winner's Whale as a backup as well. And by the time all of that recharges for Winner's Whale and Stronghold, your specialist will deflect all the zombies right in front of you. So again, there are three windows you can do this on, but this one is by far the easiest here in this room, as you can see. And the way you jump onto this AFK spot is by jumping from a little bit of a distance, but also close enough to where you land right on top of the windowsill, as you can see here. And it might take you a couple of tries. Again, if you're not confident with doing this, or you feel like you're going to mess this up, feel free to practice this as much as you want in an easy or custom mutations match of classified. But again, practice makes perfect. The hard part about this is that zombies will likely be spawning while you're trying to do this on like round 14 or 15. But if you have the talisman that lets you spawn in with level three specialist, you can start this literally on like round four or five, if not earlier. So that's the trick with getting your level three specialist as fast as possible. But if you have in plain sight or something, feel free to pop that while you're trying to get into this spot. If the zombies are bothering you, if not, time this perfectly where maybe you leave one or two zombies at the end of the round and you kind of run in like a circle right you'll try to jump on it if you miss you go back outside of the room and then run back in with the zombies staying behind you because if they get too close to you the ragnaroks will of course kill them so take as much time as you need don't rush this there's what a 10 minute timer before the zombie bleeds out at the end of a round if they're the last one so take your time with this but once you successfully jump on top of this windowsill you'll notice that again the zombies just can't physically kill kill you. I have one disclaimer to share about this glitch though. I have had an experience where I jumped on top of this just like the way you saw, but for some reason, the zombies were able to attack me and I actually died. So what I think, based on Serial Glitcher's video, is that there's a way you can jump on this where you're not safe or you're not safe enough, even with Stronghold and Winner's Whale, but I want to say 95% of the time you jump on this, you'll be fine. But if for some reason you notice yourself getting hit quite a bit, your Stronghold getting destroyed, your Winner's Whale's not working, and you're almost dead, jump right off and try jumping onto it again. It's one of those really weird AFK spots where for some reason, sometimes you jump on this and it just doesn't help you. But other times, the zombies just can't really attack you and you'll be fine thanks to Stronghold and Winner's Whale. People also say, oh, what if you put Quick Revive on so you can regen your health faster? Maybe you can try that instead of Time Slit, but I wouldn't even mess with this class setup that Serial Glitchers put together just to ensure the stability of your round 150 run. But once you're on this, and once you notice the zombies are just not attacking you, you know, maybe one or two hits or so with Stronghold or Winner's Whale, then you'll know that you are perfectly safe. The only issue at the end of the day with doing AFK glitches is that no matter what, even if you get into this glitch on like round 5 or 10 or something, it's still going to take roughly 12 to 14 hours to hit round 150. The only way you can get this done in like 4.5 hours was with the original custom mutations glitch where you can set the entire match to dogs only with half health and you can actually get to round 150 in literally I think it was four and a half hours or so and you can also start the match on round 50 as well so that was the only way you can get this done in a timely manner but besides that even an AFK glitch takes up to 12 to 13 hours right and playing legit with a shield 
I think it takes roughly the same amount of time, right? About 12 hours too. But if you're going to train legit to get to round 150, let's say you're at area 51 or down in on the second level in the war room. If you're going to train legit, it'll take you, I think, almost like 25 to 27 hours or so. That's just a rough estimate. But that's absolutely insane. So I don't blame you if you're like, all right, this is the only Easter egg I don't have done. Even though there's not a super Easter egg, I still want to get that completion at the main menu. I don't blame you for doing an AFK glitch, right? I don't blame anybody for doing that because very few people in the gaming community, or I should say the Call of Duty community, have 12 to 27 hours to play this legit with the chance of dying and with the chance of their internet crashing or the chance of their power going out or PSN going through maintenance or whatever the reason is. Imagine playing legit and your run being ruined for reasons out of your control like that. If you die, it's whatever, you made a mistake. But if your internet goes out or your console crashes, you blue screen for whatever reason, that's just heartbreaking. So that's why I'd recommend for something this outrageous to do an AFK glitch where you can go to sleep and wake up with hopefully that completion at the main menu. But if you wake up and your console turned off or your internet went out, it shouldn't feel that bad. Because again, it's an AFK glitch. You didn't have to do very much to get to that. But this is also a really great method to farm plasma. Again, there isn't any more new content coming to Black Ops 4 that we know of right now, unless Chronicles 2 just dropped surprisingly for this game. So there isn't much of a reason to get more plasma, but if there's still other Easter eggs or gauntlets you want to do and you need more plasma, this is a really easy way to farm it through an AFK method. There's obviously other AFK methods on other maps where you can also farm plasma, but if you're a fan of Classified and want to try this out, this could definitely work for you. That is about it. Leave all your thoughts down below in the comment section about this AFK glitch to get the round 150 cutscene over on Classified in 2020. This has been DK Dynamite. Really hope you've enjoyed and peace out, everyone.